Hi everyone, it's Naibin. Today I'm playing Midnight Visitor. D demo. Alright. And this is a, an upcoming game made by Freeze Studios. They've actually made many good horror games and I had chance to play most of them. So let's just start this game. December 14th, 2002. You play as a detective who just solved a big case. Now, with your boosted ego, you have your eyes on an unsolved case. A woman died in this house, and any detective who decided to invest turned. All right, I did not have enough time to read this. Um, all right, so this is a nine-story apartment. All right, uh, this is actually pretty good, and I must say some of Unreal Engine games are not working properly uh, because some people can't code properly. So if you have a game which is made in Unreal Engine and it has a good FPS, that means it has a good coding system. What is this? Uh, this looks like this looks like a blueberry jam. All right. What? So, all right. This is the body. Press tab to toggle detective mode. Oh, let's see. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so E. Press G to see your personal notes. Current objective, solve the mystery, evidence, shot. Can't find the murder weapon though. Maybe it's hidden somewhere. Oh, this is cool. Wow, this is, uh, this is cool. Oh, hold on. There are footprints, no footprints, leaving, okay, so, let's see, it's closed, uh, huh, security camera, find a security recording, alright, alright, I love this, okay, detective mode, huh, oh, is this, a uh, tape, let me watch this, Mode, no, useless. Okay, before I go here, I just want to investigate anything up here. No, nothing. Absolutely, nothing opens. So this is a demo, but for the demo, this looks so good. Oh, we have flashlight. Oh my god, I'm I'm like so dumb. We have flashlight. I just found out we had flashlight, guys. Yeah, you can write down in the comments some. Um, uh, Stupid. Oh, key. Neat. Um, some donuts. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's a super transparent coffee cup. Can you open this door? Yes. Investigate. Oh, hi. After toggle flashlight. Yeah, I, I needed flashlight. Is there anything in here? Any clues? This one is very familiar. Some of those pictures are... Wow, this is a huge map. Closed, closed. Okay, this one opens. This one doesn't open. And this one needs a key. Uh, do we have any clues in here, maybe? Okay, come on. Oh, a note. He's not here. Found someone fooling around, had to kill her, or she would blow my cover. Never believed in ghosts. Ghost, but now that she's back for revenge, I regret killing her. T1M. So, one. Uh, we don't need a flashlight. We already have it. This is a glove. Oh, is this like, uh, is this like a uh, Resident Evil type of thing? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I think, I think that's how it works. Seven, one, three. Nice! This is, uh, this is brilliant. I, I love this. This is awesome. This game? Good job. Seven, one, three. Seven, one, three. All right. Uh... Oh no, please, oh don't, don't ruin this with the looping hallway, please. This, because this looks like a looping hallway. Please don't, don't do it. Don't do it. 
So detective mode. Oh, hey, stop. Stop banging your head on the door. Already had that. Oh, don't ruin this. How is this? Is this a simulation? Through this case. Screw this case, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, don't, don't do this with the looping hallway. Come on. Please don't. You had it so good. Don't need to find some sort of a key or something. Oh my god, did we get locked in here? Do we have to wait? See? Oh, okay, alright, uh, bye. See, the door will close. Yep. Yeah, kind of, um, kind of a little let down, to be honest. And the game ended. Just like that. The application closed. I have no idea if I was somehow able to avoid the woman, but uh, definitely even if you don't avoid her, you will still start from the beginning. And if you want to check it out for yourselves, link is down in the description. Now, what I think about the game, unfortunately, I was disappointed. I wanted to see something different and I didn't expect something different of course but as I started the game and we used the detective mode it was such it was done so well that I was surprised because I haven't seen horror themed detective games that much especially indie titles which had that detective mode investigation in the journal this was neat and I understand it's just nothing special maybe maybe nothing special but I I really loved that small idea also when I went to the room and uh, the glove puzzle like uh, the one in Resident Evil with the you know, statues turning around, matching the shadow. I think that was also great. Those two things were amazing. But when I went through that corridor and I said it's gonna be PT and it started to be just like PT, I was disappointed. Personally, if you developer are watching this and if you want feedback, I would suggest to cut that off and it's not I think it's not supposed to be about the quantity and the length of the game, rather the quality, because I think if you can make a 30 minute game which has that quality into it, which has that shadow, puzzles, the detective mode, it's going to be awesome. But if you make like a 50 minute game about a looping hallway, or even like 30 minute game about looping hallway, it's gonna, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be difficult and different to distinguish it from other, the same type of games like PT. Overall, I enjoyed it, of course. The ending, as always, as I said, it was disappointing because I it started to do the PT thing and I, I didn't like it. I don't, I don't like PT overall. Some of you who are subscribed and who have been watching my channel know that I don't like PT clones because they kind of uh, ruin the creativity of uh, indie developers. But if the sequence is used only in a small part of the game, I would allow it. I would think it's okay but if the entire game is just like small sequence of detective mode and puzzles and the rest 20 minutes or 30 minutes or half of the game is just looping hallway this this won't be anything different that's my opinion of course my thoughts thanks everyone for watching and have a good day